Isn't it beautiful? Nice GTR logo on the keys that makes me smile every time I see it. And then I also got a McLaren for the other part, which is, that's pretty cool. You know, it says McLaren and GTR. How's it going guys? Rhino here, and as you can probably tell by the title of the video and my key that I actually just bought a Nissan GTR about a week and a half ago. It's a 2017 premium edition. I bought it used with about 2,000 miles on it, and I, I love the car, honestly, and I wanted to kind of show you guys a little bit of the car. This is not like an official review of the car or anything like that because I, I love the car. I'm, I'm horribly biased. Even if there's something wrong with the car, I still love the shit out of that car. And you know, I, I love I love the whole purchase. I, I've been I've been loving the car. I've been driving. It's the the main car I've been driving. I've barely driven my uh, Tacoma since I got it. But I wanted to make a, a video, kind of just explaining the car a little bit, showing you guys the car, and kind of showing you what I'm hoping to do in the future with the car and with my channel and everything like that. Because gaming has been working out for me a little bit, but it's not what I really want to do. It's not what I'm passionate about. And so I kind of want to start making some videos with this thing, see what I can do, see what sort of different things I can create with it. I just bought a couple mounts, so I'll be able to mount my camera on the windshield facing in, and then when I want to, I can mount it on my uh, the seat facing out. So that way I can show you guys both angles, and I'm looking at getting a second camera. So I have my Canon PowerShot G7X, which is what I'm using right now. Um, sorry if you see weird lines on my face, it's because of my blinds. So that's what I'm using right now. I'm looking to get another camera soon so that way I can actually record both angles at the same time so I can make videos where I don't have to stop and switch the location of the camera where I can show both angles as well as uh, the Canon PowerShot uh, G7X does not support uh, an external mic very easily as well uh, some some cameras do. So what I could do is I could get a secondary camera, have this record just the audio because the general audio is pretty good. But then when I want to talk and when, when I want you to hear my voice, I can record it with an uh, ex external wireless mic on the other camera wh wherever that one places. So I could place this somewhere and then I can place maybe the other camera on my shoulder or something like that. But basically I'm looking to have two camera angles there. That'll be in the near future as well as uh, in the maybe in the far future depending upon how hard it is to do. I may actually get a setup so I can live stream while I'm driving the car which would be very, very fun. A lot more details on that when I get to that point. So I actually, before we hop in the car, I wanna talk a little bit about something. They, the, I bought it at a McLaren dealership and so they gave me some McLaren apparel. I'm personally not very interested in it because it's hats and other stuff that I don't really use. So I wanted to show it to you guys, see if you'd be interested in me giving it away, just doing a simple little giveaway. So I'm gonna just go ahead and go show you some of the gear and uh, if there's anything that you are interested in, in having and me giving away, just post it down in the comments below which one you'd want. Maybe the popular ones I'll give away. If they're all popular, then maybe I'll give it all away. We'll see, but uh, yeah. See you there. Okay guys, uh, so this is the apparel that they gave me. They gave me a black hat with a gray and white um, detailing, or what, what do you call it, um, accent, which is pretty cool. It says McLaren Philadelphia on it, uh, and this one is actually adjustable, so you can adjust this to fit your head if you have a bigger head like myself. Uh, they also gave me a pure gray McLaren Philadelphia hat that has a little bit of an orange accent to it, which looks really good in my opinion. However, this one is not adjustable at all, and so this is a small medium. I don't have any other options, so you know, only be interested in that if that one will fit your head, as well as a carport that says McLaren Philadelphia on it. It's a nice little car port you can put in your car and uh, your, your friends can be like, why are you driving a Honda Civic with a McLaren Philadelphia car port? And you can be like, ha, I don't know. Also, I got a couple pens. I have a few more pens, but I just brought a couple out. And so these ones uh, say McLaren, only McLaren on it. They do not say McLaren Philadelphia, but they do look pretty cool. So you can get a couple of these. They are pens, so they twist on, uh, twist out and twist in. And so you can, uh, Get a couple of these if you're interested in. And then lastly, they gave me a, a thermos that says McLaren Philadelphia on it. And so uh, it's a it's a nice, a decent sized thermos. You can, you know, bring it to work and have people asking you, oh, do you own a McLaren now? And you can say yes and be lying your face off. Or if you don't own a McLaren, you can uh, now have some apparel with it. But I have no interest in this apparel personally. I'm not interested in hats. I don't use thermoses. I, I, I do have one of the pens at work already. And so if you are interested in any of this, just please comment down below which of these you'd be interested in winning if I were to do a giveaway. And I'll find some simple way to do a giveaway, maybe like one per video of the popular items. I will uh, I'll do a giveaway in the, in the comments or something simple. You know, It's not gonna be like a Gleam entry giveaway. It's just gonna be a very simple pick a random winner 
entry into the giveaway. So let me know which of these you'd be interested in. All right guys, so that's essentially the apparel that they gave me and you know, just let me know what you think about it. I am going to show you guys the car, but in order to protect myself and my neighbors and then also the car, I'm not gonna show myself walking to the car. I also need to pop my camera uh, battery on the charger for a little bit before I head out. But I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of driving, see how well these camera mounts work. Yeah, so I'm gonna go hop in the car. I'll show you guys a little bit of the interior of the car out in the parking lot. Uh, as well as set up the mount and maybe drive a little bit if I can find a good secluded spot So I can show you the outside of the car I can show it to you because the car does have some custom mods to it. Uh, it has a full HKS catless exhaust It has a uh, cob tuner that I need to get a, a custom tune added to it And then also it has a custom paint color I don't like the stock blue that the GTR comes in but it has a beautiful blue if you guys have not seen it yet um, on that note, actually down below in the description, you'll find a link or you'll find my Instagram. Be sure to go follow me on my Instagram because I will be posting more videos and pictures of the beautiful car there. And so I'll try to show that to you guys if I can. If not, I apologize, but uh, I'll at least show you some driving. So let's go. All right, how's it going guys? We are now in the GTR. Just wanted to show a little bit about this car. You guys can Google, you know, all the specs about the car. Everyone who, who's interested in GTRs knows what this car has that you guys don't know about in terms of the mods. So I just kind of want to show you the interior of the car. It's got a nice black interior um, with the nice GTR logo on the steering wheel. I really do like all of the, the navigation system, the, uh, the screen, the touch screen all the features that it has with it because I've never actually had a car have as many features in the screen as this one does in terms of like finding gas, even like checking sports scores and stuff like that. This car has a lot of really cool features as well as very comfortable uh, front seats. The back seats, as you guys probably know, are not comfortable at all. They're comfortable if you can fit back there, but you can fit maybe a five-year-old at best back there. You're not gonna fit much more than that. This is a, a very, very nice car. I'm, I'm loving driving it, and so I'm gonna try to get this mount set up and you know just drive around a little bit, show you guys what this car looks and sounds like. So let's get it set up. All right guys, so got everything set up. I will try to, I'm gonna drive around a little bit, see if I can find a good spot to uh, show the outside of the car, uh, possibly do some cold starts or something like that. But I hope the camera will pick it up well enough, but you gotta listen to this beautiful sound. Ah, love that sound. So take this out for a drive. I just gotta make sure that my, it does have Bluetooth, which is really nice. My, my last car did too, but, or my, my Tacoma does, but the screen is cracked, so you can't actually use it. I also, right next to the camera, I have a radar detector, so if you hear any beeping, that's why. It does pick up a fair amount, the extra, so that doesn't necessarily mean there's a cop nearby. Sorry, I'm just making sure that my music doesn't turn on. So let's go for a little bit of a drive. Pick on some air. My windows are fogging up pretty bad. So what I'm looking at doing, I don't know, I, I can't really see the angle that the camera has right now, but um, I'm looking on adding a mount right here on my, uh, where this hole in the seat is. Um, that will face forward and show the show the angle kind of that I'm seeing so you can see hopefully me well like kind of what I'm seeing as well as the steering wheel hopefully some of the speedometer and then out the uh, as well so so yeah this car is amazing it's very fast very powerful I love the feel of it. it's very comfortable I may I may post an actual review video later on or something, I'm not sure, but this isn't really that much of a review, it's more about what I like about the car. Because it does, I do have a frame of reference, so, that sound. So my dad has a BMW M4, 2016 I think it is. I've driven that a fair amount, as well as uh, my mom has an Audi, Ace, or Audi S6, uh, 2018. Audi S6 and driven both of those a fair amount so I do a frame of reference for pretty decent cars I love that sound so much I have driven some nicer cars more luxury type cars before in the M4 and the S6 I haven't driven anything nicer than those so this is actually the nicest car that I've ever driven in terms of the pure value and then pure power it would absolutely smoke both those cars in a race but you know they're both still very nice cars very comfortable to drive this is definitely a much smoother drive it does have the all-wheel drive which is really nice the M4 I think 
I can't remember if the uh, Audi has, I think it has all wheel drive, but you have to switch into all wheel drive. I, I can't remember on that though, but the M4 does only have rear wheel drive, which makes it any inclement weather, the car can't handle for shit. And we just had rain yesterday and it was a pretty, pretty large amount of rain that this car was handling unbelievably well, it actually handles better than my pickup in, in that, uh, in the rainy weather at least. I'm not gonna drive it in snow at all. And then the only other thing is I probably should get winter tires on it for when the temperature drops below 30 degrees, then the, the tire, the summer tires on this won't hold traction and so it'll be a little iffy to drive it. It won't be as bad as say driving on ice, but it won't hold traction as well. It won't get that sort of traction as solidly as, as so, uh, winter tires would or my, my truck has, I can't remember what type of, they came stock with the car, but the car has like a lift and it also has different tires than what typically comes stock on a Tacoma. Um, and it, it that handles really well in most weather. When I put it in four wheel drive, it handles in snow like none other. But yeah, supposedly this will, if I got winter tires on this, this would handle really well in all sorts of weather. But I really don't trust other drivers here in the Philadelphia area to, uh, to drive safe and fast enough so uh safe fast enough to drive safe enough and straight enough <laughs> i don't want anybody else hitting me yeah and uh so i'm looking what i'm hoping to do is have kind of both those camera angles set up uh just record myself driving there's some race tracks that are relatively nearby there's a drag track called atco which is about an hour and a half away i'm, I'm probably going to take it there to test the launch control and test like the max speed as well as the mclaren dealership wants really badly wants me to bring this car back to race some of the mclarens that they have oh, there's a cop up here with his lights on it's not oh he's pulling something over that's uh oh that's a unmarked car too wait no is he he's not pulling them over is he yeah he is he's what is going on I can't pull the camera off to, to show you guys. I'm sorry, but he's pulling over like a bicyclist or a motorcyclist, but the guy's not pulling over. That's a, the guy's running. This guy is running from the cops on a moped. He's not pulling over. Are you freaking kidding me? I, I think that's what I'm seeing right now. Cause this guy's not pulling over and he's on a moped going about 10 miles an hour. What the hell? Oh, okay, he pulled over. I'm not sure what happened there, but yeah, so there's a cop and a guy on a, not a moped, sorry, one of those um, carts that people sit in, like the motorized carts that people drive in around uh, uh, when they can't walk well. He stopped though, and he was just talking to the cops. I don't think he was running from them. But yeah, so what I'm hoping to do is have a couple different camera angles, go check out those racetracks. Uh, the, the, like I said, the McLaren dealership wants me to come out and race this against some of the McLarens out there. And I'm hoping to, to do that at some point, but I definitely want to hit those racetracks otherwise and show just kind of, you know, show some angles on the racetrack, which would be fun. Maybe just make some general driving videos. The, uh, the 309, which is what I'm about to get on right now, as well as the Turnpike, both are really good for, for driving, for making possible videos. Although I don't know how fast I'm going to be able to go on the 309 here. I'm not going to hop on the Turnpike, but just want to show you guys a little bit of driving here. Um, show some driving videos and then you know kind of go from there see where I can branch out to but my Instagram is down in the description below you can find some pictures and videos of, of the car as well as some personal stuff um, but that goes it kind of goes without saying don't try to contact anyone who appears on my Instagram other than me regardless of what the scenario may be no no one should be contacted outside of myself there are other people who appear on my Instagram who are family and friends and they are to be absolutely not contacted or anything because you know, it's common courtesy to, to not do that. I, I will be posting some more stuff, so there's more to develop. So there's gonna be a, a fair amount of cops up. Hopefully this, hopefully this radar detector, but it usually picks something. There's a cop who sits up here by this gas station and it usually picks up when there's a cop there. So we might get some beep in here, but I'm trying to think of a, a place where I'd be able to get out and show the outside of the car. I'm losing daylight too, which kind of sucks. It's four o'clock and it's at that time of the year where daylight is basically gone at 4.45, 4.30. I'll go this, the shortest day of the year is coming up in four days, so so hopefully that will uh, increase the length of the day so I can actually make better videos. But then we start getting the snow and I won't be able to make videos on that. But, uh, no cop, all right. I'm also getting into that rush hour traffic time, so I probably won't be able to go super fast. Uh, so far, I've only been able to take it up to 
the funny part about that is the the fastest that I've taken the car is 20, which happened to be when I had my coworker in the car. And I just gotta keep an eye out for cops that are, you know, don't have their radar on but can still you know, pull you over for going excessive speeds. They can still cause some issues. One thing you have to pay attention to, those of you who don't know anything about Philadelphia and uh, kind of Pennsylvania as a whole, and a little bit the Northeast as a whole, is that people out here drive very aggressively, typically, and they're also horn happy. They, uh, they honk their horns 24-7 for basically no reason. There's a lot of traffic around, so I just gotta keep an eye out for uh, potential cops behind me. 309, this road that I'm on, is great for, for driving fast, although yeah, there's quite a bit of traffic ahead. Not a lot of places for cops to hide. Technically, they can actually give you tickets, but to my understanding, they don't. And he's also going pretty fast, too, and so, and so is he. But I'm not going to go flying past him. I don't want to cause... I don't want to risk anything, essentially. Especially not two weeks after I got this car. Very smooth driving. I love it. The, seat, the seats hug you nice and tight. Everyone who's been in the car has commented that. Uh, which actually reminds me, I want to post some reaction videos, too. So, uh, the Atco, the place that um, has the drag track, you can't have passengers. So I gotta find a, a legal place where I can test this, the launch control. But I wanna post some reaction videos with the launch control of uh, people riding in the, the passenger seat. As well as uh, reaction videos to the racetrack as well, because it'd be very fun. The racetrack's like only 45 minutes away. Um, and so it'd be fun to, to see people's reactions and have kind of both angles of, of that as well. So you'd be able to see reactions as well as kind of just see my driving ability, which I'm not a good driver. I have never driven on a racetrack of any kind. I've only driven fast. I've never had to drive with curbs or anything like that. So yeah, that's kind of a little bit more of the hopes that I have for this. And I hope the audio is good enough to where you can understand me that's why I kind of I want to get a wireless or uh, at least an external mic not necessarily wireless mic that I'll probably set up on the GoPro that'll be on my shoulder up here um, so that way I can get better audio for my talking but the the audio here should be good enough to hear the car which is you know, kind of what I was going for I do have to pay attention though my uh, my girlfriend is coming over so I'm not I'm kind of limited on time sorry that I'm going slow the two guys in front of me are, are essentially lined up right now so I can't do anything and there's just, there's too much traffic to drive very fast right now. Also at some point wouldn't mind doing a uh, Q&A video. Pro probably do a Q&A video while I'm driving the car, which would be kind of fun. So if you guys have any questions for myself, personal life about the car, anything like that, feel free to ask them down below. And uh, if I can, I will try to, you know, maybe make a Q&A video with the car, in the car, driving the car, whatever it may be. Um, at some point, so before Washington, I could probably get out here. I'm starting to learn the area pretty well, which is nice. But yeah, feel free to ask any questions or anything like that. I'll, I'd be sure to make a, an announcement prior to the actual video being made, so you guys can be sure to get your questions in. All right, I, I yeah, I'm a little bit limited on time because my girlfriend just left, so she'll be to my place in like half an hour, 45 minutes or so. So I just I'm gonna see if I'm gonna drive around a little bit around here, see if I can't find a good place to get out and. Um, show you the uh, the exterior of the car a little bit. Maybe do a couple cold starts before I uh, before I head back. And there's a cop right there. I don't know if the cops around here are assholes or not. Actually, you know what? I have an idea of where I might go. You'll notice that the sound isn't very loud. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the correlation is. It kind of gives you a strength based on how many bars it has, but it also gives you a strength based on how loud the beeping. Um. So I'm not really sure the correlation there, the difference between the two. It's funny, this is actually the hotel that I stayed at right over here uh, when I first got here. My mom helped me move across the country. We drove across the country. And we actually stayed at this hotel because my apartment wasn't available for three days after I got here. Uh, so we stayed at this hotel while I while I went to work. So I was working or driving from this hotel to work, which is was actually a little bit of a commute. Um, and then Essentially, because I had work when my apartment was available, my mom had to uh, go get me signed in and everything, and get my uh, my key, and she started getting everything moved in. So she actually moved most of my stuff in. Although, 
a lot of the furniture was movers, but she actually got a lot of my stuff moved in by the time I got off work. So that's, that was actually really, uh, really awesome of her to do so. What also sucks is I don't know how to get back to my apartment from here, but I'll need to her to figure out. I really hope that that beeping sound isn't doesn't sound terrible in the microphone. Honestly, though, I have to give a little a little bit of information that this car does not look nearly as nice without the sun. So on a really nice sunny day, um, I'd be able to show you just how beautiful this car looks. You can kind of see it on my Instagram. You can see it in one of the pictures, but it just doesn't do it justice. It's nothing like the uh, like when you see it on a sunny day. pull up here really quickly and get some nice angles for you. So, probably no cold starts though, but uh, yeah, this car does sound beautiful. So, here we go. Mm -hmm. 